Hi, it's Red Snapper and welcome to Project Nutmeg! We are big fans of continuing education around here. Creativity keeps the brain stimulated. In addition to performing and writing, Mr. Snapper and I work on developing and honing other skills. He constantly noodles on some instrument or other, and I have been learning piano every night this year. That's kind of fun. Nutmeg gets training every night and twice on Sundays to improve her stage presence, tricks, and agility. And coca has been joining the fun, picking up on the opportunity to get treats where bus left off. We want to see if we can create a couple of musical dogs. We bought the Pets Piano at our local Zoom room. It is an interactive treat puzzle game, which I will show to you in just a moment. To use the piano, you load small treats into the upper part of these tubes, and then your dog has to get the treats from the tubes, and each tube strikes a bar when it returns to its original position. And then you can increase the gradient by using the enclosed wooden pieces in the treat drop tray, so they have to pull those out in order to knock down the tubes. So let's take a look at this thing here. I keep it stored inside the box because I don't want it to get damaged and my dogs will chew on things. So here is the outside of the pet's piano. This was $59.99 plus tax and I will add that this video is not sponsored. So this is a straight up review of this thing. I like to store it with all of the everything intact. So it makes it really easy for me to put it away with the packaging. I keep the styrofoam so that, you know, these don't tink on their own. And in here we have the box of extra little wooden pegs that you can stick into the treat thing so that these can't be knocked all the way down. So we aren't this far yet. Nutmeg's excited because she's had some piano time. All right, so you can see, you know, we've got our little xylophone notes in the front where they can hit and make it tink. And then over here, you can see these little holes where you can put treats, right? You can fill those with little treats. And then the idea is that your dog will hit the tube, triggering the musical sounds when it hits the, uh, the bells or the little plates. Now Nutmeg knows that this usually has some kind of treat in it, so she has come over, she has come over to join me. Oh, look at that. If we put it up on a table, <laughs> she hits it with her nose. I started the piano lessons with Nutmeg because it would be amazing if she could be a tiny furry little Elton John on stage. Because she's so small, it's very easy for her just to lick the treats out of the tubes without triggering anything. Did you get it? I mean, she is working smarter but it's a lot tougher to get her to play the piano. In truth, things worked out a lot better for her when she had playtime with a child's piano in class, if we want to get her to play the piano. Yeah, wait, let's go, look. Yes, good job. <laughs> Coca grew up with what we call snacks and games, which are different kinds of interactive puzzles. And she's very good at disassembling things to get to the treats. Since this toy is too sturdy for her to easily break apart, she needed a little guidance so that she could get the treats and play the piano. Here, Coca, look. Yes, 
She's 10 and moves a bit slower, but she's still excellent with problem solving. Once she knew that slapping the tubes would release the treats, she was banging away at the keys. Coca, shake, shake. Yes. Good girl. Shake. Good. Good girl. Shake. Let's get this a little bit closer. Here. Shake. Good yes. Girl. Good girl. Excellent. Yes. Good girl. Have you tried this one? Yes. yes. Good job. Good job. Wow. Here. Here's one. Probably. Yes. Good job. Look at that. I really like this piano. Of course, I have to work with the girls in shifts so that no one gets jealous. And then I put it away in the box when the session ends. It's a really sturdy toy, but Coca can still gnaw on things and Nutmeg eats things that she shouldn't. I mean, it's not a cheap toy. It's really well made, which means it can handle the slaps from the 60 pound Coca just Bang. I think that this toy is best suited for dogs over 25 pounds, just based on my experience with it. Nutmeg is 17 pounds, and you saw how things went for her. Of course, your experience may be different, but she will lick the treats out of these, these little tubes where Coca will bang on them. I'm surprised that I don't have both girls pestering me right now because they know that the piano equals treats and they are motivated by things that equal treats, obviously. I think that a 25 pound dog could more easily leverage this. I mean, maybe Nutmeg will pick it up, but when she shakes, it's not as forceful as Coca. So if you have a dog with a really solid shake then, or you know, a pounded or whatever, whatever your greeting thing is that you do with your dog, they may have a better time with it. Nutmeg is watching me from the side, probably wondering when I'm gonna load this up with treats. I'm just gonna set it down. But that's the dog piano. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have you tried the interactive dog triano? I can't even say it all. Have you tried the interactive toy dog piano uh any interactive treat puzzle toy dog piano anyway it's on the box <laughs> have you tried it did you like it did your dog like it did they engage and has any of the experience that i've shared helped you rethink how to approach training your dog to use it I would love to hear from you in the comments. It's great to hear from people in the comments. Don't feel weird if you're the first person to comment. Don't be scared. We won't bite. They probably won't bite. The dogs, I should say, probably won't bite. And we would definitely love to hear from you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and boop that bell for notifications. And you'll see us next time. Bye.